All right. So boom, we got a jump shot. Um, so he sent me, asked me, he was like, let me know what you think about my jump shot. Saying how, look, I'd love to see the result of the jumper if you when you recorded this video. If you're sending me your jump shot, at least send me some different angles and send me the result of your jumpers and let me know like more than just like how the shot literally looks like. Because when it comes to fixing a jump shot, I can't fix a jumper literally straight off not not knowing how you miss shots not knowing if, how much it goes in how does it feel and things like that there's so many things to it where i can't tell you to do this 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 and this because this 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 and this doesn't work for each and every single player everybody shoots different everybody shoots different so i can't tell you the proper way to shoot a shot you know what i'm saying because everybody shoots a little different it's just gonna be how, how it's supposed to be unique to you and so boom judging by this i'm assuming his shot is bricks because he sent it to me seems a little too motion looks like he's in gym class just shooting you know even if you don't hoop even if you hoop for fun even if you're chilling you just hoop you still send your jump shot i don't matter you don't got to be no five-star player some high school prospect or whatever a lot of people play basketball for fun and just want to get better at it and they got some other stuff that they do you don't got to be primarily a basketball player just to send stuff over here i'm just trying to help anybody get better and I can tell off the rip, your fluid, fluidity is off, right? Your fluidity is off. Now, I don't know if you're here right now in this chat, but you're probably gonna watch this VOD back. And so, I want you to notice this one thing. I've, had, I've actually had a couple people with the same exact issue right here, where, um, where they shoot and the fluidity is where the ball goes up and their body goes down. So I want you to peep this. Hold on, I don't wanna double click it. I want you to notice that as his body drops, how the ball goes up to. So hard to catch. Boom. You see that? You see that? How he's at the bottom of bottom of his load. His everything is hinged all the way down. His hips, his knees is hinged. Um, ankles are loaded, whatnot. Calves loaded. And now the ball is already up here at the pocket. Now this throws off the whole rhythm of your shot because you want to bring the ball down. You want the body and the ball to be in sync, to be in rhythm. So if you're gonna dip that ball, or if you're gonna drop your body, have that body drop, you need to make sure the ball is already here and then it doesn't go up until you get up into your shot. So either you can have the ball dip and with the body, or you can have your body go down, keep that ball in your pocket, and then go up. As, as, as your body goes up, you bring the ball up with you. So in this case right here, I would, you'd have to start off with working the ball down with your body going down, then bringing that ball up because that gives you the whole motion, the whole fluidity of it. Whereas if you just bring it like this, boom, you're stuck. And now it's just all legs and now the ball has no momentum and no rhythm going up. It's going to be a tough shot to shoot. So boom, notice that. Boom, drops, ball goes up. Let's it go. Probably has bad, he can't shoot from too far away because it's literally at this point, it's straight like elbows and a little lower body momentum, but that's just not enough. You're gonna need a good rhythm going up into the shot to make it smooth. Now, there are a lot of players who do shoot two, two motion, but they use they, they still have a good body and ball rhythm and fluidity going up and, and like momentum. So like, let's take a look at, I want, I, I'm gonna look at some jump, jumpers right quick, actually. Let's go to YouTube and look at some jumpers. Like, the, be, the biggest two, uh, two motion shooter that we probably know is probably Kobe, right? Kobe's probably one of the most best play, one of the best and greatest players of all time. And he shoots two motion and was a great shooter from mid range, from three, all that stuff, right? And so he was still very effective with it. It literally just depends on you. So let me go to this, his game where he had 13 threes. 13 threes or 12 threes? Those 12 threes. Okay. This is his highlights of the 12 three game where he had 12 threes. Quality is terrible, but we can still be able to see what we're trying to see. Okay, drop off. We're trying to see. We're trying to see some of these jumpers. Okay. 12 threes. You're not going to shoot every time you touch it. Y'all going to shoot every time you touch it. Damn. Hey, 
people be forgetting the amount of bounce Kobe Kobe was having because yeah, damn that 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 Kobe that in between that fro Kobe to that like low cut Kobe and then right right after he cut his hair, his athleticism was was peak mixed with his skill. What type of help block pass to that shit. Okay, we're trying to see some jumpers. We're trying to see some jumpers. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. I know we want to see some jumpers, but this kind of shows you that. He had 12 threes, but it's not like, boom, he, he just came out the gate firing and he missed a single jump shot. He just let the game flow. He just let the game come to him. Now we get a jumper. Now notice Kobe. Notice Kobe. Notice Kobe. Let me slow this down. I'm slow it down. All right, point five. You see how he still come brings how that ball still comes up. It just pauses only because he gets legs up in the air. Notice that. It only pauses because he gets extra legs in the air. Notice. Frame by frame. We going frame by frame right now. Come on, let's get it. Go even slower. 0.25. You see that, right? The ball is still going up, and his body is still unhinging. His body is still going up. Then the ball gets to his pocket. Then he uses more legs, and then he's able to. Then he lets that ball go, and that ball stays in the pocket for a little longer. Usually, players will get right here, and then they'll just be quick, boom. But he he uses more legs than the than the normal shooter. So we gonna finish it. We gonna take a fit look at this. Dino, let me know if you still got problems with it. Let me know you still got problems with it. Right back. Yep. Same rhythm. Same rhythm. Same thing. Shows you can still be effective with the two motion jumper. Same thing. Triple threat. Boom. Hold it for a little bit. A little more legs. You can still sh make shots with a two motion. It just depends on you as a person. But certain players, their rhythm be completely off. Like I was saying, the same rhythm that a one motion shooter has is like the same thing that the two motion shooter has, where they have that, where they bring that ball in sync with their body. It's just the only difference is how long that ball stays up here in the pocket. It's the only difference. And that pocket gets delayed depending on how much how much legs you use and how much upper body strength you have. Those are two factors that determine if you should have an upper body jump shot or a two motion jump shot. Upper body strength and how much leg, how, how high do you jump? 